Pablo is a great pick if you're looking to be stealthy, if you want to solo, or if you want to shield and body block for your team while providing shields constantly. So there's not too much to go over with Pablo. If you look at his first ability, it's basically creating an amulet every 120 seconds, and you can give this to yourself if you're going off solo, or you can stick around the team and provide them with constant shields. It's a good idea to give some of these amulets to yourself because if you do get into a hectic fight or situation, Pablo can use the amulet and also additionally provide everybody else that is in his proximity with a little bit of shield. His next passive ability is demons are no longer able to detect you using demon vision. So this is what makes Pablo really good for going off and grabbing the objective map pieces at the beginning of a round. So if you like to hurry up and go get those map pieces, typically at the beginning of a round, Pablo is a great pick because the demon can't see him. So as long as you're not shooting off weapons or getting into cars, you can run around and pretty much grab those map pieces very fast. The demon won't know what's going on because he can't see Pablo unless, for the most part, you're seeing him with your own two eyes. So in the beginning, if you do have a Pablo, tr and you're playing Pablo, try to be that one that's going off and getting the map pieces as quick as possible while everyone else loots up. You can be kind of popping yourself amulets while you're doing this, so by the time you're done getting all the map pieces, you're full of amulets. And then hopefully by that time, you know, the other members of your team have not hopefully encountered the demon yet, and they'll be looted out, and your team will be ready 100% to go after the main objectives. His next passive is begin the match with an additional amulet, very self-explanatory. You can immediately pop a shield and pop yourself another amulet right at the beginning of a match. And then the last one, Shamanic Protection, your shield bar will gradually recover over time until you have at least one full bar. This is great for, if you, especially if you're sticking together with your team, you can body block for your team and provide yourself shield, provide everybody else with shield. Pablo is essentially the armor of the group. He's going to help keep the demon presence away as he does in the show. And basically, you're the body blocker. If you've been using your amulets correctly and upgrading your shield especially, and if you've been taking the middle route, see, I, if you look at my abilities here as I go through them, the top, it's a very, I have him set up kind of like a warrior or a fighter, but if you go the middle route, you can actually make his shields very powerful and essentially you can be the body block or the distraction of the team. So if you have your shields all buffed out, try to get the demon to focus on you because if, if your shields are, if you've been maxing out your shield levels and applying shields to yourself, the demon's going to have a hard time going after Pablo. He'll be very tanky in a way. So you can literally become the distraction. As soon as you see the boss come out, if you've shielded and buffed out his shields, you can run up to the boss, try to get the boss to focus on you. Uh, you'll be hitting the boss and also the boss will be trying to hit you, but it's not going to do much because your shields are buffed out. So don't be afraid to, to use Pablo in that manner to just distract the bosses and the possessed demons. And honestly, that's pretty much it for Pablo. Very easy to use. He's the tank. He's the distraction. He's the stealth undercover survivor that is going to do the objectives right under the demon's nose. It's actually a very powerful kind of a thing when you get down to him. So don't pass him up either. Pretty much every survivor seems to have their thing going on that they're good at. So that's really that's what makes this game really fun again. And um, next, I'll probably be getting into King Arthur. Can't wait to play him. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.